பாபா பலிக வாடன் டெபியூட்டி ஜெனரல் ஆஃப் பப்ளிக் ஹெல்த் சர்வீசஸ் இன் த மினிஸ்டர் ஆஃப் ஹெல்த் ஸ்ரீலங்கா ஸோ வென் இட் கம்ஸ் டு போலியோ ஸோ இட் வாஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் மை ஃபேவரட் டிசீசஸ் பிகாஸ் வென் ஐ ஸ்டார்டட் இந்த எபிடிமியாஜ் யூனிட் மினிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் ஹெல்த் இன் நைன்டீன் நைன்டி ஃபைவ் ஸோ தட் இஸ் த டைம் தட் சரின் ஐ ஸ்டார்டட் ஒர்க்கிங் ஆன் போலியோ சர்வேலன்ஸ் ஐ வாஸ் இன் சார்ஜ் த நேஷனல் போலியோ சர்வேலன்ஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஸோ ஐ ஹேவ் தி ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு ட்ராவல் ஆல் ஓவர் த கண்ட்ரி இன் கண்ட்ரோலிங் போலியோ ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் அண்ட் வாட் ஐ ஷுட் சே அபவுட் ஐ வி ஆல் நோ அபவுட் த டிசீஸ் அண்ட் தட் டைம் ஆஃப் கோர்ஸ் வி டிட் நாட் ஹேவ் அவர் லாஸ்ட் கேஸ் வாஸ் போலியோ வாஸ் இன் நைன்டீன் நைன்டி த்ரீ தட் இஸ் த லாஸ்ட் கேஸ் reported in Sri Lanka but since then we had to continue our surveillance activities so therefore we were looking for all cases of acute flaccid paralysis and we were searching for paralysis and then we took control measures in the sense that we wanted to check stools for polio virus and also we gave polio vaccination in the area of the patient so that is the time sort of when we strengthened and also we had a lot of civil unrest areas we yeah, i had to visit those areas to do national immunization days i can remember the first nid was conducted in sri lanka in was in 1995 so i was in charge of that with the national coordinators took the initiative to travel all over the country even in difficult areas where there was civil unrest so we had the opportunity to immunize all children in fact so there was a cease fire declared during that time and i had the opportunity to go to those areas and immunize children in civil unrest areas as well so then we continued to do the surveillance activities and immunization and then i was in charge of the national immunization program as the chief epidemiologist so we were able to immunize and got a very high coverage for polio vaccination in our country so we have achieved almost 100% so then uh in in 2000 latter part of uh, 90s of course i had the opportunity to we had the opportunity to reach polio free status and we were supported by many organizations and i must be very thankful to the organization unicef especially they provided me the support in traveling to those civil unrest areas and also the who for giving us the technical support a lot and also for rotarians in the implementation activities in sri lanka so supported us a lot by the government of sri lanka the minister of health to achieve polio free status in our country so uh, then i can remember where we had to go and get the certification polio free certification status in new delhi in india by the who that is the time that they declared sri lanka is polio free so i can remember the days that how we were proud of the our country and also our program the national immunization program and the polio surveillance program in sri lanka in the ministry of health the epidemiology unit the responsible organization i was heading that organization at that time so i'm so happy that i have been able to achieve polio free status in my lifetime